this is Mark Pyong here, your Asia's Juice Guru, and today I've got a special guest in the house. Um, I've got Perry here. I'll let Perry do the honors of introducing himself. Perry, over to you. Hi, Mark. Uh, my name is Perry, and I bring in uh, Trigona Honey from the Philippines. And today we'll talk more about um, honey, actually. All right, honey, honey. So probably they, you've probably heard about this saying, right? No money, no honey. No, it's not true. Here, even if you have no money, you still get the honeys, all right? <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm very glad to share with you guys um, two things, right? First announcement is that we will be launching the Secrets of Honey or the Honey Secrets Week. Okay, so this is the Honey Secrets show where each day we will spend less than two minutes to share with you on the secrets about honey questions that you have always been thinking about right yeah. a lot of people have been sending questions to terry and to gary as well his partner and to, to to me myself as well right so you know a lot of people have been asking us about how do you differentiate what's real honey what's fake honey does the color matter and if this is something that you have been having in your mind then congratulations this is the show that you wouldn't want to miss okay so this show will be launching on 15 September onwards but until 15 September all right today I want to share with you one of the biggest biggest question that most of you have in your life when it comes to honey okay but before I go on that question if you love to have this show all right because we're just gonna do this show once all right once in that whole episode or that season all right I just want you to quickly click on the share button now hit the share button so that your family your friends you know on your network all of them are aware that all their questions all their doubts when it comes to honey will be answered in our full season of honey secrets right so press the share button now all right number two okay what i need you to do is that we will be selecting random questions from the audience and i'm actually looking at at my Facebook live now I've been receiving quite a number of questions pertaining to honey I will be selecting with Terry some of the common questions that you guys are asking and we will feature that during our whole season of the honey secrets right so type in your questions now that you have about honey and we'll try to address them okay but for today's episode well we want to address one thing and that thing is whether is this a truth or a myth so Terry, um, I've, been, I've been wondering this, right? And I've been growing up with this story that should I be consuming my honey with a wooden spoon? Okay, because probably, I believe you have been receiving this question as well, that people say avoid taking your honey with metal spoon. Yeah, have you? If you have been receiving these questions or you, you have been told, or in fact, you have this question yourself, that should you avoid taking honey okay with metal spoon if yes type in yes right so that i know how many of you guys actually are having the same dilemma as me right if you have been always wondering your entire life that should you be consuming your honey with a wooden spoon instead of a metal spoon type in yes here now okay and every time i have this problem right my mom will stop me whenever i open up a cup and i'm like no, Mark, no! You know, don't do that, no! Okay, so like, okay. All right, so, um, Terry, can you do us a big favor and tell us this big secret that everyone is dying, dying to know, right? Is right. this true? So, um, it's actually a myth. Uh, oh my God, it's a myth? Yeah. Can you believe it? It's a myth, all right. So pay extra attention why this is a myth. So there's a couple of reasons why it's a myth. Um, so basically, honey um, has the same acidity levels as oranges. So if you imagine stirring orange juice with a metal spoon, you do that, right? And you might drink off from a stainless steel mug um, at home as well. So the other thing as well is when honey is processed, um, the machines used to extract honey is, guess what? It's made from metal, it's not made from wood. Mm. So it's actually perfectly safe to consume honey with a metal spoon. Uh, the only thing that you want to avoid is to not leave the spoon in the honey and let it sit there. I see. Okay. So thank you, Terry, <laughs> for addressing the million dollar question that most people have in their mind, including mine. Yeah. yeah. Um, which the case now, it is safe 
not only to use this and in fact you can use this to dip in your honey now all right thank you for enlightening yeah. enlightening us <laughs> on this important question well i hope you enjoy this short few minutes on the introduction of um, this show that we'll be launching from 15 September onwards. So make sure you watch it. Okay, and at the same time, please now flood us with all the questions that you ever have in your entire life when it comes to honey, so that we will be featuring all these questions and answers during the entire season of the Honey Secrets. All right. So this is Mark Young here once again, and your Asia just grew, and of course I have Terry here from um, GDC, right? Stay tuned for more episodes from us on Honey. Good night.